Greetings gamers, welcome back to Access Euphoria and the Rebuilding Palermo series. Cannot wait to jump into this one. Just kind of a few bits off the last episode, a few did get in touch uh, in the comments saying they did enjoy uh, Spaceman and uh, Will Wallace. So thank you very much saying about you enjoyed the kind of brief highlights and how that was. And also I did slow down the actual highlights on when we're watching them so you could sort of see the build up play better and that's what you did comment so thank you very much for getting in touch and commenting that that does really help me build and try and perfect the episodes so do comment things it does really help but otherwise we've got plenty of games to get stuck in today we're in the heart of the season where we're obviously trying to push for a bit of promotion so let's get stuck in and see what happens now here we are then now literally this has just got us to the game day of the next game as per the new kind of way I'm going to try it out, and like I say, based on your feedback, we'll see which of the kind of two you prefer over a few episodes. But we're going to kick off with the Potenza game. They are in 15, so hopefully a winnable game. And then we do have some tough games coming up. Can Tenzaro, uh, second, that's going to be tough. Avellino, our seventh. Uh, Vitrus, 17th, that should be winnable. Turius, 14th. Paganese, they are 10th, and that will be today's sort of second game. So we're going to do Pontenza, and then I think we'll come back and do Paganese. And then what it means is next episode, we can kick off with Stabia, who are 6th, and then we'll finish things up with kind of Monopoly, who are kind of suffering down the bottom of the league. But let's jump in, see how we do. Now, a few people just off the bat have commented saying that the uh, badge has changed. It's the old badge, this. Uh, yeah, I do need to mean to update this one, but I won't be updating the one on actual thumbnails because I, I have actually tried the new one on there and it just doesn't work properly because it needs to be on like a white background for it to stand out and work properly. Whereas the full badge, because it's got a nice border, it can just sort of sit there on its own. And it, so that, yeah. Just FYI, because a few people have commented that, saying, oh, I'll give you the updated one. It's fine. I'm fully aware of that. I just need to get time to, to update the badge on the pack here. Um, just literally been mental, non-stop um, busyness lately with work, with obviously this and the project in the garage. And uh, yeah, so for the thumbnail, what changed, but this one will, if I haven't changed it by like mid next season, definitely hammer me in the comments on that one. But thanks for getting involved. So Potenza is this game. Nothing else has happened since we are still obviously top of the league. Decent kind of uh, gappage. Ozier. Ozier, Ozier, Ozier. So one thing I did do is I have turned off Get Stuck In. Now, annoyingly, I made a couple of copies of the tactic. Um, so it was obviously using the first option, which was the Mazalas. We've gone to option two, which is the Boxer Box. Now, when I made a copy, it stuck sort of back in because I loaded it up from this one it put the get stuck in back in which i turned off in this tactic so for a few games it will back on Ozio got sent off as per and uh, so i've taken it back off again hopefully that'll help but Ozio just seems to love the red card i'm not sure why i mean he has the argues with official but he doesn't dive into tackles um he's not got like super aggression i mean 15 is up there but it's not like 20 insaneness so I'm not quite sure what his problem is but yeah lots of red cards for him he will be missing today so let's have a little look around my jean can come back on here um oh, i'm trying to stick with the defenders that are gonna be around with us next year hopefully if we sign this guy on a free as well rather than van der berg who's actually probably one of our better defenders but whether we'll have him again or not is questionable and he's not really our player. Now, I will bring in Luperini, I think, and we'll remove him. And I think that'll do for today's game. Gailhart, 19 goals. He's just really good. Motta, obviously, not being brilliant. And if you look at that midfield, not ideal and a couple of defenders. So it's, it's very mixed from us. I think we have good performances and good players and then some that's a bit sucky, should we say. Literally the first highlight we've seen all game of 35 minutes in. It was a quick free kick down the bottom corner there. But we do retain play. Sommer puts it in. And Motta. Again, you just got to slag them off. <laughs> it's a common thing with FM. You slag off a player. They come good for you in that episode. So let me just bring up the team. Yeah, Froman, Silva, Sommer, Rafa Marin, Almishi, Ganusha, Luperini, Di Paolo, Bro, and Motta and Gelda. You're all rubbish, mate. Let's see if they all score now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the goal. 1-0. Come on, boys. Against Potenza. Oh, got a straight away. Another highlight. It's a free kick. Not sure who will take it. Could be Looper. No, it's Motta, actually. Just scored. Motta goes for it. Straight into the hands of the keeper who's injured. Ah, 
when I see Ninja Keeper, I'm very tempted to put like, um, what's that? The one that says basically shoot at all times because it's like, well, they're injured. You never know. They might just make a howler and let it in. I don't know if that makes a major impact in FM or not, but I, I always get that thing of like, oh, I should do that. And you never know. If they keep him on, I might do it as Pinto coming forward for them. Oh, outside the post. Good effort. Almost equalised there. We do have another free kick. I'll meet you this time. Plays it in. And looks like the penalty kick. Rafa Marin was going up for that. I was kind of hoping he would get his head on it. Obviously the youngster. But it looks like I think Luperini for this penalty kick here. Luperini on a booking. Which is not unusual for our midfield, to be honest. At least he's not a red so far. But Luperini, 7th goal of the season. 2-0. Nice, calm, as you like. Penalty kick there from him. And just before half-time puts us 2-0 in the lead. Very slow start, but then there's been lots of highlights since that 35-minute mark. Well, it's looking like that's going to be full-time. It is full-time, 2-0. There was literally no further highlights, made a couple of changes to rest a few players that were having the best of games, Rauti, Corrado and Vandenberg. Interesting, they're all on that same side. Hmm, don't know if that's all to do with it, but yeah, we were the better side, I'd say. They had a few shots, but we were kind of the better side. We didn't see a lot of highlights in this game. It seemed to be kind of nothing, and then a bit of action in that spirit, uh, space of time where there's free kicks, penalties and all that, and then just second half just flew by with, with nothing, really. So, yeah, one of those games, but... End of the day, a win is a win. We'll take it all day long. Uh, good win, boys. Let's move on and let's play some off-camera games now. Although, you will see the highlights. So, off-camera in terms of me, but you'll still see it. So, join me back in a second for our final game of today's episode. Well, 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 we are back, and that's been quite eventful, not only because I had my takeaway uh, meal in between, so I could do a bit of a pause and kind of forget where it was, but uh, mostly because I made a massive transfer boo-boo, and I might even name it as that as today's episode, because, uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, I loved going by and trying to sign up loads of the contract expiry players, but what I found over pr mostly the last FM, and clearly this FM as well, is that when you do, the clubs are out, just offer them a new deal, and they just stay. Every single time, it just seems to happen that way. It's very rare I manage to sign someone, even though, you know, you agreed a deal and all that, it, they just seem to always stay, or get an automatic renewal, or whatever. But I got itchy fingers, and I was like, oh, Marin, he looks really good, and I was like, well, if we keep playing him and he's doing, he's doing well, then they might sign him up. So I was like, oh, what shall I do? So I tried to offer him a contract, he accepted it, and then I started, I, and as soon as literally I'd done that, I was like, oh, no, I shouldn't have probably done that, should I? And so I bumped the contract up, because you can renegotiate, I, I, you know, can change contract offer. And I whacked it up to like double, more than double what he, he asked for and agreed originally. And he still went and renewed with Real Madrid. So massive boo-boo there. I think I offered him up, I think I took it up to about 1500 maybe more than that, I can't remember exactly, but I, I bumped it up. Originally, I only wanted like five, six hundred pound a week, but yeah, hey-ho, it is what it is. Unfortunately, we have no chance of signing him now, which is a massive boo-boo on my part. I mean, end of the day, they might have offered him anyway, 
that's what we're kind of got to look at. Even if I'd wait till the end of the season, they may have just offered them a new contract. But I was just getting a little bit worried, like, oh, maybe they'll offer it now and I'll, I've missed any opportunity to sign him. And I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but either way, guys, we're back for the game against Paganesi. What I've just noticed is we have a couple of issues. I literally sorted the team out a minute ago, so I don't know where these have arised from. But hey-ho, Marin will have to come back in. I might try and bring him back on loan. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Gelda is also an international duo, which is a shame. Um, we've also got the backup goalkeeper injured, so we've got the grade out player now on the bench. Rowty can come on there. Drop you out and yes so a little bit weakened for these last few games if he's away for a while first of the four mm, he's gonna be away probably a couple of games so we'll have to see how that goes be the way boys and girls let's get in the game yeah i thought i'd just share that with you because i'm not sure if i'll actually include it in the highlights i basically i thought yeah i'll show you me off from a contract and i even obviously renegotiated that up but seeing as it's just all gone to pot, I might as well just ex I've explained what's gone on. So, yeah. Marin or Marin or whatever you call him, the chance has gone on him. And I'm really good. Oh, I just wish I'd not done that. I wish I'd just given the opportunity to see what had happened, you know. But, I mean, maybe they would have renewed it anyway. It just the thing is, he just sent, he started playing in form. <laughs> he, Almichi bangs one in, first goal of the season for him. Ugh, it's cutting because he also was down as being like potential Serie A player so I thought oh let's try and get this guy signed in and then he can be with us for the next few years and, and try and progress with the leagues but oh just so annoyed it, I just it just bugs me when transfers don't go well but anyway that's gone well nine minutes in one nil up and there's a kickoff highlight which as you full know full well can go one of both ways but uh, Rowty is the one with a shot actually almost got the opportunity to make it 2-0 Decent uh, effort from the uh, from the backup striker. We do get a corner, and it is cleared initially. Can we get the ball back in? No, we can't. Got a highlight here. Gnouche with the throwing. Rossi clears. Audrey just couldn't get there. Scarapa, Caserti, Benedetti. I like uh, I like to do the uh, impressions. <laughs> I give it a go. Uh, one thing I did try and win in the games. Can't remember which one it was now. Is actually the box box midfielders. I put on the option to stay wider i want 100 percent sure if it had made a massive impact or not as rowdy with a decent effort there but that's something i'm looking at maybe tweaking in the tactic is having them set to stay wider as we have the corner kick i'll meet she puts it in cannot get on the end of it and ganusha will come forwards eventually <laughs> to get the ball van der Berg, Piaolo, luperini back to Piaolo, motta who is the main man now as ogier goes through just wife and ogier good effort that though good build up play We've got the halftime highlight here. Not sure if it's going to be a proper effort or not. You never know with these halftime highlights. But we've got uh, pretty much this is it. Of almost half time as Motta coming through though. Finds Rowty and Rowty with his third, uh, with the second goal rather. Uh, his third goal of uh, the season. Obviously, he's been just a backup player for us, but just before half time, makes it two 0 True on boys. We're looking good in this game now. Meets you with a nice little run. Uh, down the wing there, just takes the ball and, and threads through Motta, who finds Rowie with a first-time pass. Nice little bit of build-up play, and that sees us nicely into half-time. 2-0 to the good. And we've got a second-half kickoff highlight, so see how this goes. If we can score off this one and make it 3-0 and basically score immediately either side of half-time, that would be fantastic and really put this game to bed. As Rowie, he does! Rowie scores just before half-time and immediately after half-time. And he doesn't because it's disallowed. That seemed to take ages to disallow that goal. That's so annoying. Another highlight here then. It's going to start with throwing for Paganese to Diop Squilashe. Getting closed down. Can we rob them? We cannot. Diop coming forwards here. We need to sort of defend this well. We don't want to let him back in this game. Good tack of nausea. For once, it's not resulted in a red card. I mean, it's got time. Yeah, he definitely seems to have calmed down a little bit. We've taken off the... Uh, Get stuck in, so hopefully that maybe is going to improve things there. As Ogier coming forward with the ball here. Plays it back to Marin. I'm so good about that Marin transfer. <laughs> so absolutely good. Oh dear. I think that should be hashtag good in the uh, in the comments there, guys. As we get a penalty kick, Luperini will take it to make it 3-0. We seem to just be progressing down that right flank, but flying tackle coming in there. 
upends him. We get the penalty. Luperini settles it 3 0. That should be a nice win. Tenth goal season for him. He's he's done all right in midfield as Luperini. I mean, it has helped that he's been taking the set pieces, but yeah, very happy with this. Number three, Whitney will win. We keep marching on towards that title. And they've got a throw in. Let's go. Casterity puts the ball in. Back post header makes it 3 1. They do pull one back here. Seven goal of the season for him. Obviously, they will be coming at us now. Last 10 minutes to go, but a little bit disappointing to concede as we was playing really well and they'd not had a lot of chances in this game. But yep, that one makes it 3 1. But that should be full time. And there it goes, guys. Full time. Oh, hang on. We have got the trophy celebration so this will see who's stayed to the end of the episode here guys because i wasn't sure i wasn't really expecting this to be honest i wasn't expecting it um i didn't think we were that far ahead but clearly we are we've been on a good run recently so put it in the comments as we go up for it oh hey we win said well i mean we win but that doesn't get us all my promotion i don't think does it i'm pretty sure we're still going to a playoff here i think we just we've won but Nah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's still new to me, all this Serie C and, and B and all this. Like Spain as well, the low leagues in there, it gets a bit weird when you've got various different ones. But either way, 3-1 victory. Put it in the comments. Uh, we had the hashtag good, but also do winner, winner, chicken dinner. If you've got this far in the episode and you've seen us lift the trophy, just can see who has actually stayed to the end to see us lift the trophy there for our Serie C group and uh yeah we seal the title well done lads so next episode then we will come back and i think now that oh, actually we, we wow i did not realize we got far far ahead i mean we've kind of been playing the games getting stuck in and it clearly these guys have gone on a bad run and just sort of disappeared basically i mean we did beat them not too long ago in like a couple episodes oh, a couple of games ago but yeah, it definitely seemed to just completely disappeared off the boil there. Absolutely dominating things. So it's probably no point as actually coming back in terms of... I'm trying to see if it actually says we've been... Win Liga Pro Girona C title. Look back on that. Yeah, board set budgets. I think that's pretty much what it is now. After I'm not sure about the thing. Qualified for the C Super Cup. So, I think this is where it's two games played, three teams, three teams, there's three Serie C. So, I think what happens here is we play all the other teams that finish top. But I don't, I don't know, they don't really say what comes of it though. Like, you don't say what's the outcome, you know, someone gets promotion... Do, do you not get it if you don't win? Or have we all got up? Are we all promoted? But then it's just to see who won Serie C. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm sure it all said playoffs here. I'm so confused, guys. So, so confused. Oh, no. I, wait, wait. I definitely didn't say that before. I'm sure we looked at this. Anyway, it looks like we actually are promoted to Serie B. So, cool. But I think that Serie C Cup thing is to decide... Who overall is declared the winner, you know, number one, number two, number three rankings for Serie C because it's three divisions. So I think that's what it is, but it looks like we're promoted, guys, which is absolutely awesome. I would swear that said playoff at the beginning, but I'm wondering if maybe that meant the Serie C thing. Maybe it was hard for FM to show both things, you know, promoted and you go into a bit of a playoff. But either way, guys, we're promoted, and that is absolutely awesome news. So. We're probably just going to come back and do the three games in that competition. There's no point in doing the other games. We've wrapped up the league. We've wrapped up the title. So they're probably going to come immediately after here. So what I think we'll do is we'll come back for the first one. We'll then do the, the middle one off camera and do the second one. And that way we should then know whether we've won it, we're second or we're third in the rankings, guys. But thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash a like. Comment down below with winner, winner, chicken dinner and hashtag good for my man Marin. I literally probably will stay awake tonight thinking about that. But either way, guys, I'll catch you soon for some uh, Super Cup action.